After a rocky season last year for the Winnipeg Jets, where they would miss out on the playoffs for the first time in four years, the 2022-23 season has been a much different story. Now past the halfway point in the regular season, the Jets, under new head coach Rick Bonus, are currently sitting atop the Central Division in both points and points percentage with the Dallas Stars and are one of the top teams right now in the entire Western Conference. The Jets have been a bit of a surprise for most, I'd say, around the league, but I'm here to tell you why they could be a legitimate threat out West. For years, the Jets have had an abundance of talent on offense and one of the best top sixes in the league. And while that is certainly still the case, Winnipeg has also been an extremely stingy team on defense so far this year, and they also have one of the best goaltenders in the league in Connor Hellebuck. Through 45 games, the Jets have actually given up the third fewest goals against in the entire NHL. This is thanks largely in part to the fantastic goaltending of Hellebuck, who is fifth in save percentage among all goalies and is on pace for his best season yet. But the defensive core has also been really solid. Led at the top by Josh Morrissey, who's having an excellent all-around year and is producing at a ridiculous rate over a point per game and tied for second among all NHL defensemen right now. Neil Pionk is also a good contributor on the back end, and veterans Brendan Dillon and Dylan DeMello certainly add to the depth of this team's defense. And with Nate Schmidt on the bottom pair, he helps out a good bit too and is a very good skater. The Jets' offense is obviously led by stud Kyle Connor, who just continues to produce more and more each year and is one of the most consistent players in the game. Pierre-Luc Dubois, who's now in his third season with Winnipeg, is turning into the player most thought he had the potential to become. The top-line center is also well over a point per game and is helping free up Mark Shifley for some better matchups. Shifley is on pace for a career high in goals and still playing well with veteran Blake Wheeler who's still producing pretty well at 36 years old. Young gun Cole Perfetti, who is the 10th pick overall in 2020, is showing off his skill as well and showing signs of improvement in his first full NHL season. A healthy Nikolai Ehlers also makes a huge difference as he can be a game breaker when he's in the lineup. The bottom six for the Jets is really the only real weakness that I see with this year's team. But Adam Lowry is a solid third line center and the team could potentially add at the deadline if it makes sense and the organization feels that they're a true contender. Like most of the league this year, I think the Western Conference is pretty wide open. Although Colorado has struggled at times, they are getting healthier, and I think they will continue to heat up as the season moves along and could definitely have a good shot at making another run at the Cup. Vegas and Seattle have both had good starts to the season as well, and I'm not counting out Edmonton to catch fire as well and potentially make a run with the superstars they have. Dallas and Minnesota are both also strong rosters, but they do both have weaknesses and I could see Winnipeg beating either of them in a playoff series. The Jets do have a really solid team this year and I'm happy to see them doing well again this year. Rick Bonus has them playing some great hockey and the change of voice in that locker room is really paying dividends this season. Connor Hellebuck is also a huge X-factor and the only other team in the West with a goalie as good as him is probably Dallas with Jake Ottinger. The other thing is, the Jets organization also has a really strong prospect pool and has done well drafting the past few years. Last year they picked both Rucker McGroarty and Brad Lambert in the first round, both who looked to be very good players. And they also picked another offensive forward, Chaz Lucius, in 2021 in the first round. Either way, this season has been very exciting so far for the Winnipeg franchise, and they certainly look like a top contender in the Western Conference at the moment. Could this be the year that they make another run to the conference final or beyond? Or will they be taken down by another threat like Colorado or Dallas? Make sure to let me know what you think down in the comments. Is this Jets team for real? And please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.